All right, so it's tea time and I've had this request for such a long time, you know, Isha, can you please do a video about, you know, we're about to get married and so what are the things that we should take care of? What are the things that we should not do? So can you please talk a little bit about this, Isha, because I'm soon to be married. Also guys, a little disclaimer, please ignore my background. I'm not really prepared for this video today, obviously, but I was just like, I got a sudden DM again, kind of like a reminder on Instagram from this girl who really has requested me so many times to do a video on about, you know, brides to be. And I was like, you know what? Now I am in that zone where my brain is functioning. So let me just do this video. So I just switched on my light in front of me and here I am speaking to you guys. So I'm, I'm not prepared, okay? So ignore the background, ignore the lights and everything else. The important thing is that I'm speaking to you guys and just listen to what I'm saying, okay? And don't forget also, let me know down in the comments if you like this video and what more points would you also like? I would like to know that too. Let's talk. I have my tea here with me so we are gonna get straight into this don't forget you're welcome to subscribe to my channel if you wish so you can also book me as your level up coach if you visit ishacosmetics.co.uk if you go to the level up session you can actually book me there as your coach and i'll be working with you one-to-one -one and we're gonna level you up whether it's emotional mentally physically with your looks, with your grooming, with your body language, with everything. We work on all of those aspects. Now, ladies, let's get straight into the video. My first point would be, uh, I'm sure you already know, please take care of your skin. And so, yeah, let's talk about skincare. That is the number one thing you have to do. If you are the bride-to-be, you already know you need good skin. So one tip that I can give you, which you're going to thank me for, is start eating oatmeal every morning if you want. And also have a little bit of leftover and then apply that on your face as a mask. That is going to make your skin honestly so glowing. That is like one of the most natural, easiest things that you can do for your skin as well as for your stomach. Other than that, I highly, highly recommend you please have an amazing nighttime skincare routine. Again, I do have a video on this channel all about my own personal nighttime skincare routine. If you want to watch that, please, well, I'll give you guys a link in the description somewhere and you can watch that video also. And you will see the steps, the 11 steps that I do for a glowing, tight, seamless skin, okay? While we are still talking about skincare, it is obviously very important to have lots of water. And I'm sure you've already heard that like a hundred thousand times before, but I honestly mean it. Lots of water means your skin is going to get even more tight. Your pores are going to shrink and you're going to look more hydrated and your skin is just going to glow a little bit more differently. Trust me. So please do that. Just somehow force that into your daily routine as much as you can. Go out for a walk every day, jog a little bit, do something, do a little bit of cardio as much as you can because that will ensure that your water intake will increase obviously along with it, right? You know what I'm saying, right? When you work out more, you obviously start drinking a lot more water. So I think that's just such a good routine to have. Work out every day, have lots of water. So both the things will be out of the way. And I think if you can do that every morning straight, you know, it will make your life so much more easy. You'll feel so disciplined and so good about yourself. And since you said you're the bride to be, that means there is a lot of things you have to do. You're probably still shopping with your family. You're probably still, I don't know, selecting cards, designs for your wedding. Uh, lots of things, right? In this process, definitely you need a lot of rest, right? So please, we call it beauty sleep for a reason. Please have a good night's beauty sleep because you really need that. Now more than ever. I mean, you won't be getting that much sleep after this anyway. So yes, you need a lot of sleep right now as much as you can. Another thing I really have to talk about is now is the time to start talking to all the aunties that you know. Now, getting married obviously is, is a whole new, I mean not new, but it's a totally different mindset, right? And for you to be able to really get into that zone, get into that mindset, get comfortable with that idea, it's so important that you now only talk to people who are already married because you're going to get so much advice, you're going to get so many suggestions, you're going to get so many discussions with them, right? That will kind of help you to get into that zone. So it's so important to start talking to all the wise ladies in your family, I don't know, maybe your neighbors, uh, any senior friends that you've always known, now is the time to start talking to them, you know? Because to be honest with you, I think when the time is near for you to get married, right? 
usually the friends that are on your same level you kind of will start having a little bit of problems with them they either will start hating on you they either will start being a little jealous or maybe they start to disapprove of your partner or something or they start disapproving and having problems with like your in-laws with the way they are and that can really mess up with your mind a little bit so it's important that you start to talk to only the wiser older people uh, whether it's again in the family or within your friend circle that are wise that are already married if not married they're at least engaged because those are the type of people that will ensure your progress with the marriage process does that make sense and hear me out because it's so serious i feel like when you talk too much with your single friends you will also kind of stay single right so if you want to be married <laughs> the best way to stay married is to start talking to your friends that actually are already married and that will be a better choice we are now talking to wiser people who are married who are going to make sure you also learn something from their experiences and that is going to help you so much in your journey also oh and another thing can i also say while we are still talking about friends let me also say uh if you find a certain friend or a certain cousin very toxic for this process that you're going through right now can we please cut them off already okay yeah i mean that's a given right we don't even have to speak about it that's a given you have to uh not talk to them as much anymore and you have to cut off strings with them a little bit at least a little bit you know however much you can manage but you have to do that you know why for your own mental health and not just for that right now because you're about to get married you need to have this progress kind of goes smoothly for you right so if you cut off all the crap it will ensure that this process is going to be a bit more smooth for you if that makes sense right and while you're still talking about friends can i also say this is a good time to start having a better bond with your partner ask each other as many questions as you can uh if you are from like asian countries and stuff i understand sometimes you're not given that much freedom to meet your partner as much or talk to them as much still however much you can try to have a better bond with them at this time especially through this process it is going to put you guys more on a comfort level with each other right which is so important i think having that connection with each other really does go a long way and you don't even have to talk about a lot of random stuff if you can't but what you have to really really do is ask each other a lot of questions i'm sure you've already been through that process initially already but even now things are getting serious and you know that so now is your time to start asking each other very serious questions where do they see themselves in the next 10 years what do they see you like you know like in the next 10 years what is it that they want to see from you how is it that they want to see you improve uh right now you are on this level and stage where you're still very young and your expectations are different but ask them okay after like five years or after children let's say what would you expect me to be like as a wife or like as a mother and all that so you'll have to go through very very tough talk right now you know which probably you might have not done before now is the time to really do that also you have to ask a lot of questions about you know what do they expect from you to be like uh when it comes to their, the in-laws and stuff like that right uh, let's just say now that you are progressing into marriage you probably have started to meet like a lot of their relatives also they've started to maybe meet your relatives or whatever you're getting like more familiar with each other and each other's family so you can ask a lot of questions you know how they want your relationship to be with their relatives and all of that and vice versa right so you have to have a lot of discussions like that which are very serious discussions and try not to have any arguments try not to have any debates because one thing i can tell you sometimes people really set off relationships from the get-go kind of like very argumentative by being very debateful and all of that and i think that is such a wrong start to be honest and if you're already now in the process of obviously getting married then i think it's not a good start it's not a good idea to set it you know from the get-go in such a negative way so do everything politely positively very respectfully okay keep it smooth and keep it polite and um i think you'll do better this way you know please don't be that couple don't be those people that connect with each other only after fights happen because that is i can tell you that is such a wrong start because we all know fights happen nobody's perfect we all get it but whatever you see right now in be between you guys trust me it's gonna get worse right 
obviously we all know that so uh in the beginning this is your honeymoon phase try to enjoy it as much as you can okay and i think that would be like my tips basically and i think other than that we can talk so much about the beauty aspect i think i would one thing i would like uh, for you to add in your routine would be full body exfoliation full body hair removal sessions and or even if you want hair extensions, this is your time. If you want any laser done on your face uh, to remove freckles, let's say, whatever, this is your time. Get it all done and out of the way. And then, you know, you are about to obviously take a fresh start and you just want to get all of these little things out of the way. I think that is how I would love this to be. I'm just checking if I've missed out any points, you know. Oh, yes, I do have another point on my list here, which is ladies you need to stop buying things impulsively this is not the time anymore impulsive buys this is something we all do ever since we remember right i mean the girls will be girls but right now the only thing you should be buying and purchasing at this moment is something that will a either contribute towards the marriage itself or b something will, that will be more useful right after marriage whether it's your clothes whether it's I don't know home stuff you know the kitchen things whatever wh whatever you get honestly whatever whether it's the bed spreads or your utensils or some decoration stuff or whatever whatever you buy okay it all has to be very useful otherwise don't get anything because marriage itself can be so expensive as we already know so whatever things you buy right now should be something which is obviously very very useful okay but at the same time, there's nothing wrong about being spoiled. Sometimes we know right now you're going to be spending a lot of your man's money anyway. So if you want to be spoiled sometimes, well, that is just between you guys anyway. But all I am saying is no more impulsive purchases. You are getting into marriage. That means you're becoming a woman. That's where you're going. That's where you're headed. And women should not really do impulsive decisions and impulsive shopping anyway. That's something girls do. That's something younger girls do when we are silly, when we are teenagers and stuff. When you become a woman, you have to make wiser choices, wiser decisions, etc, etc, right? Another thing I would like to add is very important, which is your mental health. If you think you are mentally not prepared or if you think you're emotionally a little messed up or not as stabilized or you still have some maybe childhood traumas or past traumas or whatever or even if you have some sort of negativity that affects your personality which also affects your energy then please get counseling this is your time because you don't want to become a wife and then be dealing with internal mess while at the same time externally everything is changing at the same damn time it's going to be so hard for you to cope with that and i think people say that for a good reason that the first two years of your marriage is going to be the hardest it, we know that we have seen our cousins we have seen our friends we've seen everybody around us you know and i think the first two three years definitely are the hardest i, I think they say that obviously for a very good reason especially the first one by the way and i think it truly is because i mean my humble observation that because we are sometimes emotionally mentally physically not as prepared as we think we are and then we're also at the same time dealing with so many changes externally you know the family changes your location changes your routines change your lifestyle changes your literally everything changes and it can be very very overwhelming so while you're dealing with all those changes Sometimes you can react very impulsively. Sometimes you can get a little overwhelmed. Sometimes you can get a little bit of anxiety or whatever. Sometimes you don't deal with things the right way like you should. You're just doing crazy things instead, right? So yeah, and, and this goes for both parties. You know, this goes for the guy as well as for the girl. So please, if there is anything incomplete you feel within you, please get counseling, get coaching and get your shit together. Like I always say, I know it's not the most polite thing, um, to be said but uh it is what it is right oh and did i also mention hair you need some good hair you need to get your glam growth hair oils from isha cosmetics just go to the website the link is given. and guys i think these will be my points that i really want to talk about right i hope these things help you if you want a part two of this please do let me know if there's anything i've missed out i'm so sorry but but, but this is the only things that were coming in my mind that i really wanted to just quickly get out of the way so Thank you so much for watching i know i have made this video for after like such a long time but for good reason so please let me know down in the comments how you liked it and also book me as your coach if you really need to level up and get your stuff together in other words if you want to get your shit together basically okay thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel